AutoLine Daily is brought to you by Bridgestone, passion for excellence. Here are today's top headlines. Gili may be the new owner of Volvo. The UAW picks who it wants on the GM board. And Japanese consumers go gaga over the new Toyota Prius. Up next, we'll be back with the news behind the headlines. This is AutoLine Daily for Friday, June 19th, 2009, and now the news. Reports from China say that Geely has reached an agreement to buy Volvo from Ford, Autoblog reports. Other reports say that Geely will move a Volvo production line to Dongguan, China, and will build the XC90 there. Ford has made no official announcement about the sale, but Chinese media and only Chinese media are reporting that the deal was signed. The UAW announced yesterday that Steve Gursky was named to the board of directors of General Motors. Gursky is the appointee of the Viva Trust Fund. That's the retiree health care fund of the UAW that now owns 17.5% of GM with warrants that could allow it to buy more. Steve Gursky is a well-known Wall Street analyst who worked for Morgan Stanley and who also has been an advisor to both GM and the UAW. Meanwhile, the Wall Street Journal reports GM hopes to speed through its bankruptcy and emerge from Chapter 11 by mid-July. GM still faces potential challenges from dealers and bondholders, but it's hoping it can come out of bankruptcy sooner than expected. Yesterday, the U.S. Department of Transportation rolled out a new proposal for more consumer-friendly tire labels. Specifically, the new tags would show consumer a tire's wet weather traction and its tread wear rating. But the big news about the proposed plan is that for the first time ever, it indicates a tire's rolling resistance, a key factor in fuel economy and CO2 emissions. Toyota received 180,000 orders of the new Prius in Japan last month. According to the AP, this far surpasses the company's uh, target of 10,000 vehicles in monthly sales. Prius was the number one selling vehicle in Japan in May, taking the spot away from the Honda Insight. Sales have been helped by tax credits for purchasing a hybrid and Japan's Cash for Clunkers program. And speaking of the Japanese market, last week Mazda introduced the all-new Axela there, better known here as the Mazda 3. The updated exterior is highlighted by that smiley front end face. The Axela offers three different gas engines, including a turbo, and they're mated to either a manual, automatic, or CVT, depending on the engine. It also offers a stop-start feature that shuts off the engine when the vehicle comes to a stop. Pricing for the Excella starts at 1.6 million yen, about $17,000, but can run up to about 28 grand. Coming up next, a preview of this week's episode of AutoLine. We'll be back in 15 seconds. Changing tires out here could be dangerous. But with these tires, I don't need to worry. Bridgestone. This week's episode of AutoLine is all about product. Joining me on my panel is Stephanie Brindley from Auto Pacific, Eddie Alterman of Car and Driver, and Frank Marcus of Motor Trend. Together we talk about the new products that have been launched so far this year, and in the following clip, we focus on one of the new styling trends that seems to be sweeping the industry. Now, I think one of the other trends is, is the emergence of the face. Yeah. yeah. It's crazy. It's out of control. I mean, that Mazda 3, I mean, it, it's a the great big, car, oh, but that I, grinning I, face, I mean, it, it's like it's, you can see it from a mile away. It's too much for me. That's my take. I think it almost started with something like uh, Chrysler 300 mm. um, with, with that, you know, unmistakable grill. It was just, you know, you saw it in the rearview mirror. You knew exactly what it was, and it was a carrier for the brand. And Audi went down that road. BMW, you see, going down that road. It's almost it's, grotesque. Might be the wrong word, but I mean, it's, it's exaggerated. Yeah, it's not grotesque. It, it's exaggerated, but it's it's just a little too much for me. But I said that about the Chrysler 300, and it was a mega hit. As always, you can watch the entire episode of AutoLine and a whole lot more on our website later today. That does it for this show. Except that I have to announce the winner of this week's trivia contest. We challenged you to identify the car pictured here. And as most of you correctly responded, it's a BMW Isetta. 
And the lucky winner is Steve Fogel of Allentown, Pennsylvania. Congratulations, Steve. You just won a Michelin tote bag. Anyway, that's it for today's top news in the global automotive industry. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week. Visit our website for even more great content all week long. Auto Line Extra, John's Journal, Podcasts, and even more. So click over and get the inside view at AutolineDetroit.tv.